Actually, I was sitting in this chair right here <laughs> when we, I was sitting here reading a magazine and uh, that's when we got the call that, you know, we, that the German soldiers were injured, we needed to go pick them up and, you know, uh, adrenaline rush, you don't really think about what's going on while it's happening, but after it's over, that's when you kind of start reliving some of the events and saying, wow, that, that just happened. I'm very honored to get, to get an award, uh, get this award from, from the German government and uh, I guess I, I really, f I really feel like we were we were doing our job that day, and you know obviously to us it doesn't matter if you know what country you're from. We're here to provide medevac coverage, and that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're just happy that we were able to help. We are seeing a force flow of uh, more than 3,000 uh, U.S. troops uh, in 2010, uh, but they will not be used or deployed as a compact um, you know, military formation. Uh, their main task is training the Afghan National Army, the Afghan National Police uh, mainly, and uh, therefore they are going to be deployed between Faryab, which is the far west of the northern region, uh, up to uh, Kunduz here in the east.